Uh, oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, continue dungeon. Thank you. Yes. Okay, dungeon progress is saved, though. You guys have got me covered. Uh, and I'm glad I probably can help. Okay, let's... I'm assuming all the, uh... Oh, if dungeon progress is saved, can I always, like, bop out of the dungeon and come back for healing? Uh, and, like, go buy stuff? That is... That seems... Seems like it's going... That is... Not okay. But... What the hell? Hey, do you want an outpost tunic? I have many. So we'll boost, boost my bonus damage. Yeah, let's go bonus damage. One shot things a little bit more often. So we have nature's nature's tufts, uh, touch, so more HP. Cheater's ring, which increases gold found by 10%. And iron blades, bonus damage, and stamina. Okay, so I'm going to give him the cheater's ring. And we're going to get the ring of... Uh, coast of iron, coast iron ring of blades. There we go. Yeah, the bonus, bonus money will be nice, and uh, the bonus uh, money will be nice. And it's not like I actually hit things with him very often. Let's go up here and make sure that we got everything. I think we did properly. Okay, but yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this. I like the dungeons. Uh, I like the fact that they can be uh, redone. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to, but it does... I mean, it gives me something fun to do here and there. Oh, he is just... He is farting occasionally. I mean, it's not actually farting, but... I'm going to pretend it is, just because. Okay. Now... Is anybody left here? Nope, looks like we're done. Good. Oh, and it stopped for some reason. Yeah, because we had a, this book in the corner, though... Ah, bandit reports. Boss, a few ships came in by the sea. Tried anyways. We took care of them, uh... Oh, I see. A few ships came in by the sea. Tried anyways. We took care of them pretty quick. The boys pulled a few survivors out of the water. We'll bring them your way when we can. Seems they'll be useful for whatever it is you're doing. I don't want to know. We're still digging through the outpost, trying to find the thing. Might be a lot easier if you just told us what it is. Meaning no offense. In fact, forget I asked. I guess I could cross that sentence out, and this one, nah. We'll take the payment as, uh, the usual way. Last batch was too fermented, and by the by. Gold was just fine, though. Givens. Okay. So we have a punch mat. Um, can you... Is that a bug? Are they supposed to be in the fish pond? I, it's not like I, I mind, it just... Uh, I was not aware you could go in there. Well, uh, let's punch... Punch the motive. Punch the motivator. Seeing as I have some fancy uh, healing moves. I'm not actually sure why I'm wailing on the motivator. I guess uh, the motivator has the, uh, the least amount of HP. Okay, can't say for sure if there will be more voice acting added. Okay, good. Because, yeah, there were a number of NPCs that were voice acted and weren't, and I was kind of curious on whether or not they were um, ones that I had to worry about. Okay, let's do a uh, cleave. 28 damage, that'll kill the motivator. Uh, let's do nature's boon, whole team. Okay. Like, your voice acting. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to, like, uh, get basic voices down for, like, bandits and thugs and gruff dudes. You can never do females, but, like, let's be honest here. <laughs> oh, that thing blew up and did extra damage. That's cool. Okay, so that should offset some of that. Uh, let's see. Let's do barrier swing on this guy. Giving you real Golden Sun and Child of Light vibe. I could definitely see Golden Sun. I've never played Child of Light. I always wanted to, but I I go through um I go through periods of my life. Um Well, 
I guess barrier swing kind of, kind of comes off as a bit redundant, but that's okay. I go through periods of my, my gaming career just being like, I'm not going to play an Ubisoft game because they make questionable decisions. And then some other studio makes more questionable decisions. Let's see. Swift Cleave. Oh. Let's do Swift Cleanse, actually. Now, does that just get rid of stacks or, uh, kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of, nah. I wish that would give me overcharge. I wonder if I could get overcharge from it, actually. I should remember to actually use my overcharge here. Let's keep doing Swift Cleanse. Oh, I was using Swift Cleanse uh, on myself. Okay. Let's do abilities. Do... I mean, screw it. Let's just do Warblade. I don't actually know if I've ever done Warblade. I... Why did he just get big? Well, she was defending. Lucky me. Abilities. Let's do... Healing Wave on... Probably himself, actually. Well, never mind. He's dead. And yeah, we we heal... Oh, we heal more than 9 HP. It's gone up a, by a bit. Probably based on uh, equipment, maybe. Speaking of Ubisoft, South Park the Fractured But Whole. Uh, will I be playing? Probably not. Um, I've never actually uh, watched South Park beyond the uh, World of Warcraft episode. Okay, History of the Iron Outpost. Oh, this is a new one. When the, when the Dark One fell, the Veil vale knew peace for a short while. Few felt any reason to revisit the after Versus was defeated, for nothing of value was known to exist anywhere on the land. That all changed abruptly when the Manuels were discovered. King Vancelor, still young in his years, realized the importance of the discovery and quickly sent an attachment of his best troops to the island. Their mission was to begin the construction of a coastal outpost that would serve as Vancelor's main stake of claim in the new frontier. The work was slow at first, as local wildlife, some fed by mana, harassed workers and caused delays. Once the first and most basic walls were complete, the outpost soon became operational. Oh, and apparently I get a revival flask. Shrine of en energy. Let's leave that alone for a second. Let's use one of our healing charges. I don't know what the shrine of energy is going to do, so I'm like, nee. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else here? No, probably not. But yeah, no, I've never actually uh, seen uh, South Park. I don't watch TV much to begin with. Um, combo that with... Uh, uh, combo that with just... Uh, I don't know. I like indie games, or like pseudo-indie games. Like, this is kind of perfect for me. It's a... Uh, it's not an indie game. It, this is definitely... Maybe not... God, how would you even describe games like this? It's not AAA, but it's it's so high quality you can't call it just... Um, you can't call it indie. Um, but this is kind of the perfect game for me, where it's like... It's it's super high quality, but like... Independent from all of the, uh, the issues that like plague Shadow of War, for example, and stuff like that. Oh, there's also a game manual. Uh, in the start menu. I will take a look at that. Yeah, double A, I guess. I feel like double A, uh, kind of takes away from it, though. Like, by calling it double A, it, it almost does it a disservice. Okay. Actually, nobody's particularly injured. That group heal ability is amazing. Well, let's see. Is he doing cleave? I think he was doing cleave. I, I think so. Um, but yeah, like I guess Obsidian would be a, a good comparable uh, studio. Obviously, like the approach is completely different. But uh, <laughs> I oh hi, random boxer man. Hello, I'm here to punch you. Okay. Um. But so, like, I, I've been kind of buggered by the whole Shadow of War uh, thing coming up. Like, I was really looking forward to Shadow to Shadow of War, and then uh, all the, like, DLC stuff and the loot boxes, and I'm like, Ooh, please don't. I, like, actually wanted this game, and, well, never mind. Um, and so, like, 
I kind of prefer this sort of thing where it's like a super high quality product, same, um, same like feel, I guess. Uh, but free of uh, free of any of those like, well, problems. Do we do healing? Nah, let's do let's do a nature's boon. There we go. Uh, that's why. I, oh, yeah. There we go. That's why I like stuff like uh, Regalia, Hollow Knight, this. Uh, and I mean, obviously, there are a lot of good like AAA games out there. I just always find myself being like, ooh, ooh, some of those decisions are sketchy. Okay. Do we have anything back here? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. I was hoping for secrets. Oh, let's see. I don't know. Oh, hi. Uh, Spoils of War. Uh, Carlos, I finally ran into General Xavier myself today. After all the chatter about his change since returning from the front, I was convinced it was blown out of proportion. Now, I'm not sure. It was taken seriously enough. He returned in new armor. I hesitate to call it armor because it felt like something more than that. The way it shone, even in dim torchlight, of the outpost's lower halls was unnatural. I'd say it was made by... Uh, I'd say it made my head hurt in some way, but it w that was probably the hangover. Probably, Carlos. Okay. Why not call it unaffiliated AAA? Yeah, I could go with that. Oh, shoot. I want to go the other direction. Uh, let's wait on this one. I'll have to follow it out. Are there any fast twitch actions in exploration? And can I play mostly with the mouse? Uh, oop, Andy, you mind fielding that? Actually, here. Let's see if we can play this with a uh, keyboard mouse. It, it looks like you have to keyboard. Unfortunately, I do not. I do not seem to. Oh shoot! There's another bot uh, box there. Oh, I have some friends. Yeah. Uh, it looks like you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to play this with, uh, maybe a controller? Luckily, the controller pretty much handles the whole thing. Like, you could actually one-hand it, uh, fairly reasonably. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going into this bleeding. Oh, well. Uh, well, so are the slimes, actually. That works for me. Um, but there are no, there are no Twitch reflexes, period, for this game. I can tell you that one straight up. Oh yeah, they're bleeding way worse than I am. Um, so, like, this is this is a turn-based game uh, through and through. So, uh, even if it would be like a little bit fiddly, uh, I'm fairly certain you could probably figure out how to uh, to play this without too much issue. Okay, let's get the barrel. That that bleed hurts. It probably just stacks up. Um, it probably just stacks up for your next battle. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can... See if I can get here. Oh, can I get in here? Come on, get hit one more time. Ah, damn. Well, that's okay. I was really hoping there would be a... I was really hoping I could get him to bleed even more than I already have. Well, that's okay. Anyway, gut punch. Oh, well, these ones are really easy anyway. I mean, hell, I'm going to be totally honest with you. You could probably play this game with your feet. Um, and that's not meant to be insulting in any way, shape, or form. But, like, there's very little actual, like, uh, gameplay requirements, which is nice. Wow, is that a dungeon? Oh, what is that dungeon? Uh, I think it's... This is the first one. The Iron Hold? Is it? Okay, it's gone after battle. The reason enemies had more stacks is because they got hit a lot. Yeah. Um, but all of the status effects from the traps probably, uh, last until the first battle. Oh! Crafting index. So this is where we craft. No rest of piece of villa. I thought I learned one of the crafting books. Well, I guess we'll come back to crafting at a later date. That's a shame. I was hoping I could figure out, uh, crafting properly. Maybe we have to go through a first, uh... Maybe I have to go through, like, an initial tutorial or something. 
Yours looks different. Are they randomly generated? As far as I can tell, the dungeons are are pulled from a, a pool of pre-existing, um, I guess rooms, if that makes sense. So like, uh, each room is well designed, but the go the dungeon itself is cobbled together with them, uh, based on you know placement and whatnot. After you buy the book, you have to use the book. Oh, okay. Uh, let's. Do, a, do I do a sting? Nah, let's just do a swift strike on bottom guy. That way he'll just die on the next turn. Okay. Should be good. Uh, let's just keep hitting this one. Let's see. Wonder if you looked into Divinity Original Sin 2 at all. Looks like it's going to be a great game. Yep! We are planning a, uh, a full playthrough. Uh, oh, really? That bleed damage is not nearly as substantial as I thought it was going to be. Well, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Um, yeah, uh, Keith, Bird, and Shell, and of course myself, will be playing uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 together as a group. Which is going to be really nice. This this has been a really good year for, uh, for RPGs, honestly. Uh, I guess I'll just punch this guy and he'll go down anyway. Yeah, getting those traits has made this so much easier. We heal... Not by an insubstantial number. I love the animation with the birds landing on Calibretto after every fight. I, I like that, uh... Do I want to say... It's not really like a, a meme, a trope now. Which is the... Let's go with the Iron Giant trope. It, it feel... Not... It doesn't feel good necessarily. It just... It's a neat thing. And it's fun to fun to see more often. So let's see if I stack more bleed damage if uh, if the bleed effect is higher. Now it looks like it just kind of enhances what I've already got. That's okay. I'll just punch this guy. Oh yeah, that's an interesting point. I'm noticing these slimes are clones. Where's the original? I will be totally honest with you, I actually had not noticed that any of them were clones. That is a good question. It's probably the boss for the area then. Uh, unless it's a bandit one, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm just gonna wait here for this to go by. Do the slimes even know of my existence or are they just kinda sitting there? Uh oh. Should probably move. Let's wait for the other one to go by. Oh, right. I was gonna. I was gonna go in here. We have basic blacksmithing. Learn recipes for those. Okay. And introduction to blacksmithing. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, and I did not buy any more, so we just have a bunch of random junk. I'll have to farm for more of them later. Okay, now the slimes know I exist. I'll just hang out here until they're they're here. Have they actually gotten a whole lot of stacks of bleed, or is it only... Yeah, it's only like one or two, so it might actually wear off. Okay, uh, either or. No, oh, this is easy. Yeah, the nice part is every single easy battle means, uh, just free healing for me, because all my characters heal, you know, a small amount after every, after every fight. I just realized Calibretto is kind of wearing weird pants. Huh. That's okay. Uh, nope. We don't want to wait until that goes by. But yeah, I... I uh, oh, wait. What is this thing? I'll look at it in a second. There's like a little drone that's flying by. Okay. The general is a man of glory. Truth be told, I, like the others, feel drawn into the wake of his power as he strides by. Ravenheart slapped me this morning, saying it was just the armor and to keep my distance from him, saying that Xavier has lost his way. Ravenheart is a fool. Why can't... why can brothers never get along? His jealousy is transparent. The general went to battle as a man and returned as more than that. It's blasphemy to suggest so. But he's like a... The entry becomes incoherent. What's this thing? Oh, I caught a surveyor. Oh! That's cool. And this poor thing has just been destroyed. Holy crap. 
Hell yeah, recuperate. Yeah, any kind of ability that just nets me free healing is one that I absolutely want to get. Okay, uh, so let's go back to crafting. I want to see if we can make Calibretto uh, some new stuff. Oh, there's still one... There's one slime. Oh yeah, it is bleeding. So it, it's not that it waits until combat to be over, it's active. There is a real-time element to, to it going away. Check your map with M when you're out of combat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, would you happen to know... Well, I guess I can check the controls here. Let's do it. Options. Game options? Control tutorials? Okay. No. Alright, M. Ow, ow, ow. We gotta get out of here. Okay, let's... Now let's press M. That is cool. So does that mean I'm missing a treasure chest? I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to go back and double check everything and make sure. I very well might be. There was something up the stairs, which I'll check in a second. Okay, right. We're gonna I wanted to look at crafting. So what can I do? So I can craft knockout gloves, but why bother? I can make a stone cutter, which is probably worthwhile. Armor. Armor for Calibretta wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh let's see. These are trinkets. Ah. Can I make... I could make those. We might need them. So I'm leaning... Let's check Stonecutter, but let's see what I already have, now that I think about it. Because I might have gotten something new along the way here. I've got rings, but... Yeah, because we had actually gotten the Coast, Coast Iron Broadsword. And then I'd forgotten about it. We do, we do get... Uh, or we do lose Serrated Blade, but eh, who cares. Oh, there's a difference. There's a ring, and then there's a necklace. So we could actually use a necklace. Uh, does it say? Well, we can't make it anyway. We do not have uh, Lysolot Fangs or any of this stuff. Oh, so there is actually going to be a Monster Hunter aspect to this. Also, there are there are six party members total. And we only know who five of them are. Well, that's, that's interesting. Okay, well... Oh, I thought I was going to be able to make a stone cutter, but no. Yeah, I can make the knockout gloves, but eh. So we can make the war golem plating and the tunic, which isn't going to help. We might as well make the plating, seeing as everything else is not possible. This is cool. I am, well, I'd say I'm sold on this game, but I already own this game. And I'm, but I'm glad I bought it. All right, let's uh make a couple of these. Oh, I see. So you can make you can make oh, so you don't actually need these, I think. No, you do. You need you need all of these things. I got a lot of common parts. Okay. For a second I thought it was going to be one of those where it cost me one of everything. Okay. Let's figure, uh, I guess first and foremost, let's, let's get the armor on this guy. And we don't have any necklaces because we couldn't make one anyway. Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to regret buying this game, right? I don't think so. I think this game is, uh, pretty solid for, uh, what it offers. Oh, cool. hey -o. Yeah, I forgot there was, like, a whole upper area here. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh, I did find the original. Wow. Well. I right, let's make the brawler bleed. I'm surprised we haven't fought enough with them yet. Okay. But yeah, this game is in beta for the next three weeks, but let's be honest, that is... That's not a long time. Uh, it'll it'll be coming out fully in three weeks. I assume at this point the game is feature complete uh, And all that remains left is just bug fixing and letting the uh, the Kickstarter backers uh, You know get the first taste Which seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to me. Okay, so let's do Warblade 
Actually, I haven't done Warblade yet. And let's do a Swift Cleanse on her. Okay, he's just doing an attack up. Oh. He's fast. Well, I guess he kind of has to be. That's a cool move. I really like the animations for the effects. But, like, I... What I love most about this game is the, uh, is the 2D. The 2D artwork and whatnot. You know, the portraits, the texturing, uh, so on and so forth. But I gotta say, like, the, the models and the effects are nice. I will admit... Eh, I don't know. I actually really like the shade of, like, kind of purple-gray that they use for the background. It is kind of weird and featureless, but, like, whatever. The waterfalls are nice. Okay, so we, we've already gotten everything from here. Is that based off of Ike from Fire Emblem? Huh, that's actually an interesting question. It... maybe. Okay, so we've got a treasure chest we're missing, two rooms back, and then we want to loop around. Let's see. Uh, also, actually, uh, it's probably not too noticing, uh, noticing, notice, noticeable. Um, but the the game kind of intentionally blurs stuff that's outside of your, uh, like where your character isn't, kind of as a line of sight thing. So if it's like down below where you can see, it just gets kind of blurry. Uh, that actually looks really nice. I generally don't like blurs in games. I I prefer them to just be. Uh, distinct and easy to identify. Uh, is this the one? No, no, one more down this direction. But, I don't know. It's, it's interesting to see things that I normally would grump about in a game. Uh, handled with like, oh, that's where the treasure chest is. Nope. Okay. Where's the treasure chest? Oh, is it right here? I am dumb. Well, at least we can just warp, uh, come back here and just warp back. Oh, that's cool. They actually have, like, kind of a floating island effect there. I like that. But yeah, let's, uh, hi. Do I go fishing? I think I'll bother with fishing later. Uh, go on specific fishing trips. Right now, um, I'm... I... I was planning on playing other games tonight, but it turns out this game is wonderful. So, like, I, I legitimately thought I was only gonna, like, be able to play, like, half an hour of this. And it's like, no, by the way, this is the full game. And I'm like, shoot. Alright. Let's drink the fountain. Okay, we passively generate overcharge in combat. Let's heal up, because I believe we've got a boss fight in this one. And let's switch to him. I don't know what his his charge is. So that's like a dash pass. Oh, for traps. Ah, heal and restore all mana. Sure. I mean, we were already full health and mana and everything. That's cool. Oh, frame rate's kind of... Fuck it. Uh, well, that's fine. Probably have to fight several waves of these guys. Oh, that was loud. Probably okay. Ooh! This creature looks particularly dangerous. Blade Fiend. We can't hold back. Let's do this. Okay. What's that? That's a new mechanic. Burst. Attacking, healing, and tanking damage. Oh, taking damage. All build up your party's burst bar. Once you've built up a full charge of burst, any one of your heroes can expend the ch charge to unleash their own unique burst ability. Well, hell yeah, we're going with shield assault, probably. I'd like to see the other ones, but at the same time, boxing gloves has earned it. Oh, the music is so good. 
The music is so good. All right, what do we got? I mean, we're probably going to be able to heal, so I guess we should probably just go wildfire. Random targets for 77 damage or that. And then... Oh, I see. One's fast versus very fast. Okay, well, we might as well do Sunder, seeing as he's really more of kind of just a helper right now. Uh, let's see. Do we steal? Yeah, let's do Sting. I'll take this slow instead of being kind of wasteful. Owie! Okay, abilities. Healing wave. Uh, abilities. So we might as well do barrier swing. Actually, just start pumping my moves because we've got we've got extra overcharge just by existing. Okay, abilities. Warblade. I love I love the style of a creature that just has a bunch of floating swords around it. In fact, that's, like, kind of my number one, like, oh, that would be really cool. Purify. Heals each party member for 34 health and removes two debuffs from each. Let's not do that. Um, let's actually do Nature's Boon. Uh, could wait. We could do Shielded Assault again, which isn't bad, but I want to see what the other one is. Let's keep doing, uh, Barrier Swing. Because it looks like we can just kind of freely use all of our abilities with that problem. Okay, so what's burst? Heart bleed. 58 piercing damage. Oh, that probably goes straight through shields. Causes the target to bleed for 30 damage over three turns, ignoring damage mitigation. Cool. Oh, the music is so good. One thing a lot of video games have never quite properly realized is, um, is the importance of kind of slow paced music. Oh, he's doing it now. Um, when it comes to, like, boss fights and, and epic battles and stuff like that. Like, yeah, there's something to be said about, like, really epic... Oh, I'm so glad I did that, that, uh, responsive healing move. Um, but, you know, there's something very important to be said about, like... Uh, about having, like, really epic music at an appropriate time. But sometimes it's just nice to have this. Because, like... I actually want to stop and just listen to the music instead of fighting this guy, but I know as soon as I'm gonna, uh, I'm done. I'm gonna go see if I, if I own the soundtrack yet or not, uh, and then I will go listen to it for a while until I'm sick of it, and then listen to it some more because it's too the good. The blade they pulled from that thing was an artifact. This is more than some bandits screwing around. The bandit who got away dropped this insignia as he fled. Have you ever seen one like it? No, I haven't. It sounds like we're paying Grimbeard at least one more visit. Yes, we are. All right. Oh, we got anything else? Treasure cash. Hopefully we get the war points now so I don't have to walk back. But if we don't, I don't know, whatever. What do we get? We get a red rusty blade. Oh. I wonder if I get to make anything else with that. Okay, let's press M, make sure we got everything. I think we did? Uh, wait, what? There's a treasure chest in that first room that I still haven't got? Uh, oh, that's okay. I am... Oh! This lets you pull out a consumable, uh, quick. I like that. I, I like, I think I pressed it at the very beginning, and then I was not paying attention. Leave the dungeon. Nope, not yet. Oh, my voice is about to go down. But that's okay. Uh, so what was the... Oh, it was probably the fountain, not the fish. That we saw. Either that or there's a crate here. No, it's just the book. Okay. <coughs> Let me see. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at the game man manual later. Wait. There's... A warp point here? Oh, it's down here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's go down here. I want to go find that kind of missing treasure chest. Because I'd swear I got them all. But I, I, maybe I didn't? I mean, there's a whole, like, weird trappy bypass, but that's not it. There's the book. 
How do I just miss everything? I... Didn't? No, it's just the book. Unless there's something in that little trap area that... I... I don't understand. I mean, luckily if I take the damage, it's not gonna matter too much. Nothing? Nothing. Alright, well, let's get out of here properly. Uh... I should probably warp back to the... I should probably warp back to the beginning, just in... or not the... The bypass? DOE? So it is, it is somewhere in that, like, weird trap bypass. Okay. Yeah, the problem is since I can't change my... Oh. Is that in a corner? I'm looking. I don't see the weird trap bypass results. Unless I'm... Unless it's a uh, puzzle that I I didn't properly... Oh. Got it! I understand now. Thank you. Yeah, there's a secret wall. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, it took me a little bit. I, I forget about the puzzle-solving abilities that the characters have. Of course, now I'm just going to use his to dash around because I'm not actually sure what it's supposed to do. Uh... Ew, the frame rate kind of tanks sometimes when the camera moves there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. Now let's go for the exit, because now we now we for sure have everything. Thank you for not uh, uh, just straight up telling me. Oh wait, there's something here. What is this? Why is there? Uh, why is there? I might actually have to go fishing to get whatever the hell this is. All right, fishing time. Now, do the different characters have different fishing abilities? Probably not, but that's okay. Come here, fishy, fishy. Yep, yep. What's the meter behind him? I don't know. Great catch. Oh! Level 3 fishing. Do I level up my fishing, or is it like, uh... Is that just based on the, the fishing equipment I got? I don't know. Fish! Come here, fish! I want you in my belly. Yep. Should probably actually move up and down. I wonder if you can aim it. Okay, it is based on gear. Cool. Nope, nothing. Anything? Nope. Wrong spot. Too far. Well, might get that one. Yeah. I... I have to say, this really is probably my favorite fishing minigame I've ever had in a video game. Where it's not a giant pain in the butt. Like, that is that is actually such a, a, a positive thing. It's actually fairly easy to do them. Though I question how I'm getting fish chunks from a mecha fish, to be totally honest. Like, that is confusing me. I'm sure this gets harder later. At B. Even these are a little bit harder. It's so much fun making the minigame. Yeah, no, like, I I am the kind of person that generally resents the fishing minigames in games because, like, they make them overcomplicated. Uh, even Stardew Valley's was, like, kind of this weird pain. Uh, generally just because, like, it was hard to get all the timing done and stuff like that. This is just, like, I mean, it takes, what, half half a second to catch that crab. Uh, let's see. Gotta be like here. That should get him. There we go. Damn it! Wait. Oh, that's, that's wrong. There we go. Because, yeah. It, it just... It's... It's super relaxing, but it's also like... Very, uh... Oh, interesting. So we always cast straight out. Well, let's see if the fish will figure it out this way. 
The Final Fantasy 15 fishing was okay. It was overcomplicated, though. Like, it took a while. This last fish is going to be a problem. Yeah, because I can't aim myself. It's always straight out, and unfortunately, well, can I? Yeah, I, the problem is I can't go up there. Okay, I think that fish maybe is aware. Because he's, he's hiding in a place that I can't get to. Hmm. <sighs> well, actually, if I if I leave and come back, maybe he'll come. Cause yeah, uh, the the barrels and the treasure chests are in the way, and I can't uh, I can't get to to Mister Fish. <laughs> Is he? You son of a bitch! Okay, that got his attention. There we go. Yeah, this fish just... No. Y yes. Okay. <laughs> I was going to be real upset if you went back there. Okay, cool. Are we are we free to loot whatever the hell this is? Oh, wait. Can I just walk down in here? Oh, I can. Whatever whatever this is. Veil herbs. So does that mean... Oh, no, that's the fishing icon. Okay, cool. I think I have everything now. I, I think I've managed to clear this dungeon out in its entirety. It says 100%, so I'm just going to believe it. Let's leave the dungeon. That is a really pretty knoll. I'm curious how many different people did the... Uh, okay, legendary mode is now unlocked for the dungeon. We will have to grind that later. I'm, I'm curious how many people did uh, worked on this game. I'll have to see when we hit the credits. Because, um, like... It could... I'm terrible at judging how many people there are. And one of the coolest things that I always find about games like this... Uh, specifically, is if this game is this good, it probably means the next game is going to be uh, just as good. I I don't even know what the next game would be, but still. Oh, and Airship Andy is leaving. Well, thank you so much, Airship Andy, for uh, for stopping by and and uh, speaking up about various things and. Uh, answering my questions and so on and so forth. This was a wonderful game and I cannot wait to play more of it. And I'm, I'm pretty much done for the night too. I, I'm getting kind of hoarse. I just wanted to get back to town. Even check the loot after the boss fight. You're right! I actually, I did not. Uh, let's see. What did we get? We got two new rings. So nat uh, another nature's touch and another nature's touch. Uh, what did we get? Ah! We got the Red Rusty Blade, which is worthless. We gotta fix it up. And we did get a Coast Iron Broadsword. Oh, that is a Guardian weapon. 10% chance when attacking to create a damage shield when, with each hit. Hell yeah. So it's about, it's about the same thing. Uh, did I get anything else? Nothing necklace, nothing trinket. Okay. And obviously I probably should fight everything. Well, maybe not, actually. Who cares if I fight everything? I can always just rerun through a dungeon uh, as many times as I want. But yeah, I I really really like this game, and I'd say I can't wait for the full release, but I'm fairly certain I more or less have it. So I'm just gonna keep playing this. I I guess this will just be uh, one of my new stream games to get into. Yeah. Alright, well, we don't want to care about that. Yeah, I want to figure out how to get more uh, iron and stuff. I probably mine it from dungeons themselves or something. It might be... Uh, well, I guess I could probably always buy it, too. Now that I think about it. Okay, so we don't have the uh, the special super super anything anymore. Well, Oh, wait, I got a burst. Burst! Oh. Do I want to do it? We do burst one. It doesn't look like we go beyond burst one. Yeah, sure. Let's go with this. We do 
perfectly fine health-wise right now. Next burst, I mean, honestly, most of my bursts I think I will be using on healing. Because, uh... Oh, interesting. Because the, the tank is spiky, it does retaliatory damage. That's cool. But yeah, I will probably spend most of my bursts uh, on on healing, just so it doesn't cost me anything. It, uh, it'll save me mana, and mana is important. Okay, that, yeah, now he's definitely going to go down. Some really cool burst attacks later on. I am looking forward to them expe expectantly. Especially when I have all the party members. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Let's see. Hey, there we go. So, Guard Punch, Gaia's Fist, Siphon, and two per perk points on everybody. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can I check the... Oh, you can check the map. Okay, I'll have to see if there's a specific... Oh, yeah, there's mining points. Yeah, so I'll have to routinely... They probably refresh after resting or doing a dungeon or something. So I'll have to routinely just run through the entire area uh, to make sure I harvest as much as possible. Because crafting is fun. But yeah, we're almost we're almost done. I'll do more fights later. But I want to get back to town, talk to the dwarf, uh, and then call it a night. And there we go. I'm just... I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of uh, starting to... Not chill out, zone out, but whenever I'm playing like a, a game that I'm really happy about, I'm just like, yeah. And then I don't say anything because I'm too yeah. Yep. Welcome. <laughs> You're back. Such a treat. This insignia was dropped by a fleeing bandit. Is it familiar? This, sir, uh, from the Iron Outpost. Not the military mark. I can't make heads or tails of it. But Quo might. He's a strange one, to be sure. Most likely to know of anyone, Matt said. He hasn't had much interest in speaking with us thus far. They may as be. But now you've got something interesting to discuss. Yes, we do. What could go wrong? Who are you? Well, that's all then. Okay. Yeah, let's talk to Qual. Yes, yes. Oh, so I can upgrade it immediately. It probably just upgrades the selection. Why, hello. Have you brought me something interesting? While at the Iron Outpost, we witnessed bandits pulling a sword from a pile of armor. That pile of armor then promptly came to life and tried to kill us. Ah, uh, yes. Quite fascinating what an artifact can do, especially to other artifacts. What do you mean, other artifacts? That was no ordinary set of armor you battled. It was an ancient artifact. Once worn by a lieutenant, cursed with power by Varus himself. Oh, so the, uh, the commander that the guy was starting to worship was wearing that armor. I got it. Who is Varus? Just your run-of-the-mill archmage turned crazed imperial, infused with the power of a blood demon. Long since dead, or at least disappeared. Run that bias again? I'm no historian. Learn more on your own, if you must. Forget it. The bandits, they may know where our lost friends are. And if they have an artifact, where can we find them? If they found your friends, they'd be in Junk Town. Where is it? To the east. Straight east, nearly. Only, <laughs> there's a small problem. Other than our friends who are missing, and my patience wearing thin? A bandit cannon blocks the lone road going east. You'll never get past. If you try, I'll be sure to swing by and collect what's left of you afterwards. 
I'm really not very good at controlling my temper. Now, now, there is another way. If you can get the blink station working again. A teleporter of some kind? Yes, it can teleport you deep into the rushlands. A dry and rough place. Hmm, nasty. Through it, you can approach the cannon from the south and flank the cannon. Once it is disabled, you can access Junktown freely. The Blink Station. How do we fix it? Down the East Road, just north of the cannon emplacement, is Banog Cave. Inside is a mana core. Grimbeard has sworn he can repair the Blink Station if someone were crazy enough to fetch it. You definitely look crazy. Go get it. Bring it to him. Maybe he'll be bored enough to fix it for you and blink you down to the rushlands. Okay, we... Uh, this conversation is no longer interesting. However, your interest in alchemy is... Our what? Alchemy. Why else would you have gone to the Iron Outpost but to gather all those wonderful alchemy ingredients? Our lost friends? My alchemy table is yours to experiment with. Just clean up any messes, of which there will certainly be many. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I don't like him, but that's okay. Anyway, let's get uh, alchemical medicines and primary elements. Ooh. Finally. So we can make stuff whenever we want. Let's go over here. I assume... Come on in. I assume I can't do any smithing, but you never know. Okay, uh, so he does sell bone chips and a bunch of other stuff, but it doesn't look like we can actually do any smithing yet. That's unfortunate. Well, that's okay. Sharp. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so if we go into my inventory, I can learn a bunch of, uh, alchemy recipes, which we will do, because if we can make a bunch of, uh, if I can make a bunch of mana potions beforehand, I can be a little bit more egregious with my ability usage. Which would be nice, because currently I only have one. Oof. Anyway, I am going to save. How do I save? There we go. That's how I save and exit the game.